Greetings, and God bless you, my precious brothers and sisters in Christ. The Holy Spirit has guided you to this video today because our loving Heavenly Father wants to reveal the extraordinary ways in which He is preparing you for what you've been faithfully praying for. In the midst of waiting and trusting in God's perfect timing, it's easy to feel discouraged and wonder if our prayers are being heard. But the truth is, our God is always at work behind the scenes, orchestrating every detail of our lives to align with His divine purpose and plan. In this video, we'll explore 10 powerful signs that God is actively preparing you for the very things you've been bringing before His throne of grace. Through the truth of His Word and the inspiring testimonies of those who have experienced His faithful provision, you'll discover the unshakable hope and unwavering faith that come from knowing that the Creator of the universe is intimately involved in answering your prayers. When we choose to trust in God's sovereignty and believe in His unfailing love, we can rest in the assurance that He is working all things together for our good and His glory. He is the God who hears every prayer, sees every tear, and knows the deepest desires of our hearts. So, if you've been feeling weary in your waiting, discouraged in your faith, or uncertain of God's plans, this video is for you. And please don't keep this message of hope to yourself. Share this video with those you know who may be in need of a powerful reminder of God's faithfulness and His unwavering commitment to answering our prayers. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, leave a comment below, and give this video a like to help spread this encouraging message to even more people who need to hear it. Together, we can build each other's faith, declaring God's goodness and trusting in His perfect timing. May the Lord bless you abundantly as you continue to trust in Him, knowing that He is preparing you for the incredible things you've been praying for. Remember, God is the sovereign ruler of the universe, and He is using every moment of your waiting to shape you into the person He created you to be. Keep holding on to His promises, believing that He is faithful and true, and He will continue to reveal His hand in your life in amazing ways. Number 1. My Dear Brothers and Sisters as you journey through life, there will be times when you find yourself in a season of waiting. You've been praying fervently, seeking God's guidance and intervention in your circumstances, yet the answers seem to be delayed. But take heart, dear friend, for this waiting period is not in vain. In fact, it is during these moments that God is preparing you for the very things you've been praying for. One of the most significant signs that God is working behind the scenes is when your faith grows stronger. Just like a muscle that becomes more robust through exercise, your faith is being stretched and strengthened in the waiting season. You learn to trust in God's timing and His perfect plan for your life, even when the circumstances around you seem impossible. Consider the story of Abraham, a man who believed in God's promise, despite the odds stacked against him. In Romans 4, 18, 21, we read, Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations, just as it had been said to him, so shall your offspring be. Without weakening in his faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead, since he was about a hundred years old, and that Sarah's womb was also dead. Yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised. Abraham's unwavering faith in God's promise, even when the natural circumstances seemed insurmountable, is a powerful example for us to follow. As you wait upon the Lord, your faith will grow stronger, just like Abraham's. You will learn to trust in God's sovereignty, knowing that he is working all things together for your good. During this waiting season, God is not only strengthening your faith, but also preparing you for the blessings and responsibilities that come with the answered prayer. He is shaping your character, teaching you valuable lessons, and equipping you with the necessary tools to handle the gifts He has in store for you. Just as a potter carefully molds and shapes the clay, God is molding and shaping you into the person He desires you to be. He is refining your character, purifying your heart, and aligning your will with His. This process may not always be comfortable, but it is necessary for your growth and preparation. 
So take courage, dear friend, and embrace this season of waiting as a gift from God. Trust that He is working behind the scenes, preparing you for the amazing plans He has for your life. Keep praying, keep believing, and keep holding on to His promises. Your faith will grow stronger, and you will emerge from this waiting season as a testimony of God's faithfulness and goodness. Remember, but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. God is preparing you for great things, and your faith will soar as you witness His hand at work in your life. Stay encouraged, stay focused on Him, and know that the best is yet to come. Number 2. When God is preparing you for what you've been praying for, one of the most profound signs is that you develop a deeper intimacy with Him. In the waiting period, as you eagerly anticipate the fulfillment of your prayers, you find yourself drawn closer to God through prayer, worship, and studying His Word. Just as Moses spent 40 days on Mount Sinai in God's presence, your relationship with God deepens as you seek Him wholeheartedly. You begin to realize that the waiting period is not a time of idle stagnation, but a precious opportunity to grow in your faith and understanding of God's character. In the quietness of your heart, you start to hear God's voice more clearly. You find yourself spending more time in prayer, pouring out your heart to Him and listening attentively for His guidance. Your worship becomes more authentic and heartfelt as you express your gratitude and trust in God's plan for your life. Moreover, you develop a hunger for God's Word. You eagerly study the Bible, seeking wisdom, comfort, and direction. As you immerse yourself in the Scriptures, you discover timeless truths and promises that strengthen your faith and ignite your hope. You find yourself meditating on God's Word throughout the day, allowing it to transform your thoughts and shape your character. This deeper intimacy with God becomes the anchor that sustains you through the waiting period. When doubts and fears arise, you cling to God's presence, knowing that He is with you every step of the way. You learn to trust in His timing and His ways, even when they differ from your own expectations. As you draw closer to God, you begin to experience a newfound peace and joy that surpasses understanding. You realize that the greatest gift is not the answer to your prayers, but the opportunity to know God more intimately. You find yourself falling more deeply in love with Him, recognizing that He is the ultimate source of fulfillment and purpose in your life. In this season of waiting, embrace the invitation to develop a deeper intimacy with God. Cherish the moments spent in His presence, allowing Him to mold you, refine you, and prepare you for the incredible plans He has in store. Trust that as you seek Him wholeheartedly, He will reveal Himself to you in ways you never imagined possible. Remember, just as Moses emerged from his 40 days on Mount Sinai with a radiant countenance, reflecting the glory of God, your intimate encounters with God will leave an indelible mark on your life. You will emerge from this waiting period, transformed, equipped, and ready to step into the fulfillment of your prayers, with a heart that is more closely aligned with God's own. So take heart, dear friend. Embrace this time of deeper intimacy with God. Allow Him to draw you closer, to teach you, and to prepare you for the incredible journey ahead. Trust in His perfect timing and know that as you seek Him with all your heart, He will guide you every step of the way. Keep praying, keep believing, and keep drawing near to God, for He is faithful and will fulfill His promises in your life. Number 3. When God is preparing you for what you've been praying for, one of the most significant signs is that your character is being refined. This waiting season, which may feel long and challenging, is not wasted time. Instead, it is a precious opportunity for God to mold you into the person He wants you to be, someone who reflects the character of Christ. During this time, you may face various trials and obstacles that test your faith, patience, and perseverance. These challenges are not meant to break you, but to strengthen you. As you navigate through these difficulties, you'll discover a resilience within yourself that you never knew existed. You'll learn to trust God more deeply 
and to lean on Him for strength when your own resources are depleted. The Bible reminds us in Romans 5, 3, 4 that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. This means that every hardship you endure is an opportunity for growth. As you persevere through trials, your character is being shaped and refined. You're learning valuable lessons about faith, trust, and dependence on God. You're discovering that you can handle more than you ever thought possible, not because of your own strength, but because of the power of Christ within you. Moreover, as your character is refined, you'll find yourself becoming more like Christ. You'll start to exhibit the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities will shine through you, attracting others to the light of Christ within you. Your life will become a powerful testimony of God's transforming power, and you'll be able to impact others in ways you never imagined. It's important to remember that the refining process is not always comfortable. It may involve letting go of old habits, attitudes, and mindsets that don't align with God's will for your life. It may require you to step out of your comfort zone and take bold steps of faith. However, as you submit to God's refining fire, you'll emerge as pure gold, a vessel fit for the master's use. So if you find yourself in a waiting season, take heart. God is not idle. He is actively working in your life, shaping your character, and preparing you for the incredible plans He has in store. Embrace the process, knowing that it is necessary for your growth and development. Trust that God is using every challenge and every delay to make you more like Him. And as you persevere, hold on to the hope that God's promises will be fulfilled in your life in His perfect timing. Remember, your waiting season is not a wasted season. It is a sacred time of preparation where God is refining your character and equipping you for the amazing future He has planned for you. So keep pressing on, keep trusting, and keep holding on to hope. Your breakthrough is coming, and when it does, you'll be ready to step into all that God has in store for you with a character that reflects the beauty and goodness of Christ. Number four, my dear friends, when you find yourself in a season of waiting for God to answer your prayers, one of the most profound lessons you can learn is the art of surrendering control. It's a journey that requires deep faith, trust, and a willingness to let go of your own plans and desires, placing them in the hands of our loving Heavenly Father. In the Bible, we see a beautiful example of surrender in the life of Mary, the mother of Jesus. When the angel Gabriel appeared to her, announcing that she would miraculously conceive and give birth to the Son of God, Mary's response was one of complete submission. She said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. In that moment, Mary relinquished her own dreams, expectations, and fears, choosing to trust in God's divine plan for her life. As you wait upon the Lord, you too are called to embrace this posture of surrender. It means laying down your own timeline, your own ideas of how things should unfold, and your own limited understanding of what's best. It's a daily choice to say, Lord, I trust you. I believe that your ways are higher than my ways, and your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. Surrendering control is not a sign of weakness but rather a testament to the strength of your faith. It's a declaration that you believe God is good, faithful, and trustworthy, even when circumstances seem uncertain or challenging. As you release your grip on your own plans, you create space for God to work in miraculous ways, aligning your heart with His perfect will. This process of surrender is not always easy, but it is immensely rewarding. As you learn to let go and lean into God's loving guidance, you'll discover a peace that surpasses all understanding. You'll find joy in the journey, knowing that every step is ordered by the Lord. And you'll grow in your ability to trust God's timing, recognizing that He is always at work behind the scenes, orchestrating everything for your ultimate good and His glory. So, dear friend, as you await the fulfillment of your heart's deepest prayers, Embrace the opportunity to surrender control to the one who holds the universe in his hands. Like Mary, say yes to God's plan, 
even when it looks different than your own. Trust that His love for you is unwavering, and His purposes for your life are greater than you can imagine. As you learn to surrender, you'll find yourself drawn closer to the heart of God, experiencing the freedom and abundant life that comes from walking in obedience to Him. Keep pressing on in faith, knowing that God is faithful to complete the good work He has begun in you. Your season of waiting is not in vain, for it is in the surrendering that you'll discover the fullness of God's perfect plan for your life. Number 5. When you find yourself in a season of waiting for God to answer your prayers, it's a beautiful opportunity to witness a profound transformation in your priorities. As you faithfully seek the Lord during this time, you may notice a subtle yet significant shift in your focus, a gradual alignment of your heart's desires with the eternal purposes of God. In Matthew 6.33, Jesus teaches us to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. This powerful principle becomes increasingly evident as you wait upon the Lord. Your earthly desires, which once seemed so pressing and important, begin to fade into the background, replaced by a growing hunger for the things of God. You start to view your life through the lens of eternity, recognizing that the temporary pleasures and pursuits of this world pale in comparison to the everlasting joy and fulfillment found in Christ. Your prayers become less about personal comfort and more about discovering and fulfilling God's will for your life. As you prioritize God's kingdom, you find yourself increasingly drawn to His Word, seeking wisdom and guidance from the pages of Scripture. You become more attuned to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, eager to follow His lead and walk in obedience to His commands. Your relationships begin to reflect this shift in priorities as well. You surround yourself with fellow believers who encourage and challenge you in your faith, spurring you on toward love and good deeds. You become more intentional about sharing the love of Christ with others, recognizing the eternal significance of every soul. As you align your priorities with God's, you discover a deep sense of peace and purpose that transcends your circumstances. You trust that God's timing is perfect and that He is working all things together for your good and His glory. Take heart, dear friend, for this season of waiting is not in vain. As you fix your eyes on Jesus and seek first His kingdom, you are being prepared for the incredible plans God has in store for you. He is shaping you, refining you, and equipping you to fulfill the unique calling He has placed on your life. So keep pressing on, keep seeking His face, and keep trusting in His unfailing love. For as you align your priorities with God's, you will experience the abundant life He has promised, a life filled with purpose, joy, and the unshakable assurance of His presence with you every step of the way. Number 6. When you're in the midst of a storm, facing uncertainty and challenges on all sides, it can be easy to feel overwhelmed and anxious. But as a child of God, you have access to a supernatural peace that surpasses all understanding. This is the peace that the Apostle Paul wrote about in Philippians 4-7, a peace that guards your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Just like the disciples who faced a fierce storm on the Sea of Galilee, you may find yourself in a situation that seems impossible to overcome. The winds may be howling, the waves crashing over your boat, and you may feel like you're sinking. But in that moment, Jesus is right there with you, ready to speak peace over the storm. When you cry out to Him in faith, He will grant you a peace that goes beyond human comprehension. It's a peace that doesn't make sense in the natural realm, because it's not based on your circumstances or your ability to control the situation. Instead, it's rooted in the unwavering presence and power of God. As you learn to rest in Jesus' presence, you'll find that His peace begins to permeate every area of your life. It will guard your heart against fear and anxiety, and it will give you the strength to face each day with courage and confidence. You'll be able to say with the psalmist, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. This supernatural peace is one of the signs that God is preparing you for what you've been praying for. It's a reminder that He is in control, even when everything around you seems to be falling apart. 
It's a promise that He will never leave you or forsake you, and that He is working all things together for your good. So if you're in the middle of a storm right now, don't lose heart. Fix your eyes on Jesus, the Prince of Peace, and let His presence fill you with a peace that surpasses all understanding. Trust that He is preparing you for something greater than you can imagine, and that He will bring you through to the other side victorious. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. You have a Heavenly Father who loves you, a Savior who died for you, and a Holy Spirit who empowers you. Lean into their presence, and let their peace be your anchor in the midst of the storm. As you do, you'll find that God is faithful to complete the good work He has begun in you, and that He has a plan and a purpose for your life that is greater than anything you could ask or imagine. Number 7. In the midst of your waiting season, when it seems like your prayers are going unanswered and your dreams are yet to be fulfilled, remember that God is faithfully preparing you for what He has in store. As you persevere through this time, your testimony becomes a powerful witness to God's goodness and faithfulness. Your story of waiting and trusting in God's timing becomes a beacon of hope for others who are facing similar challenges. As you share how God sustained you through the difficult moments, how He provided for your needs, and how He gave you strength to keep going, your words will resonate with those who are struggling. Your testimony will be a reminder that God never abandons His children even when the wait seems endless. You can share how you clung to His promises, how you found comfort in His Word, and how you experienced His presence in the midst of uncertainty. Your story will encourage others to keep holding on to their faith, knowing that God is working behind the scenes on their behalf. As you open up about the lessons you learned during your waiting season, others will be inspired to trust God more deeply. You can share how God used the waiting to refine your character, to teach you patience, and to deepen your dependence on Him. Your testimony will show that the waiting season is not wasted time, but rather a valuable period of growth and preparation. When you finally see the manifestation of what you've been praying for, your testimony will be a powerful declaration of God's faithfulness. You'll be able to proclaim how God exceeded your expectations how He answered your prayers in ways you couldn't have imagined, and how His timing was perfect all along. As you share your story, others will be drawn to the God who has proven Himself faithful in your life. They'll see that if God came through for you, He can come through for them too. Your testimony will be a tool for evangelism, pointing people to the one who can satisfy their deepest longings and fulfill their greatest desires. Remember, the Bible tells us that we triumph over the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Your story of waiting and trusting in God has the power to defeat the lies of the enemy and to bring hope and encouragement to those who are struggling. So don't be afraid to share your testimony even while you're still in the waiting season. Be honest about your struggles, but also be sure to highlight God's goodness and faithfulness. Let your story be a reminder that God is always at work, even when we can't see it, and that He is preparing us for the incredible plans He has for our lives. In the end, your testimony will be a powerful witness to the truth that God is faithful, that He hears our prayers, and that He is always working for our good. So keep trusting, keep praying, and keep sharing your story, knowing that God is using your waiting season to prepare you for the amazing things He has in store. Number 8. My friends, one of the most powerful signs that God is preparing you for what you've been praying for is when you develop a heart of gratitude. It's a transformative experience that shifts your perspective and aligns your heart with God's will. Gratitude is not just a fleeting emotion. It's a daily practice that becomes ingrained in your very being. As you reflect on God's goodness in your life, you begin to see His hand in every aspect of your existence. From the air you breathe to the relationships you cherish, you recognize that every blessing, no matter how small, is a gift from above. The story of the Samaritan leper in Luke 17, 11, 19 is a beautiful example of the power of gratitude. Jesus healed 10 lepers, but only one returned to express his thankfulness. This man, despite being an outcast in society, recognized the magnitude of the miracle he had received. 
he fell at Jesus' feet, praising God with a loud voice and thanked him for the healing he had experienced. Like the Samaritan leper, when you develop a heart of gratitude, you learn to appreciate God's blessings in a profound way. You begin to see that even in the midst of trials and challenges, God's love and mercy are ever present. You understand that every obstacle you face is an opportunity for growth and a chance to draw closer to Him. Gratitude shifts your focus from what you lack to what you have. It opens your eyes to the abundance of blessings that surround you, even in the darkest of times. When you wake up each morning with a grateful heart, you set the tone for your entire day. You approach life with a positive outlook, knowing that God is working all things together for your good. Moreover, gratitude is a powerful weapon against the enemy's attempts to discourage and distract you. When you choose to give thanks in all circumstances, as instructed in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, you declare your trust in God's plan for your life. You acknowledge that He is in control and that His ways are higher than your own. As you cultivate a heart of gratitude, you begin to experience a deeper sense of peace and contentment. You find joy in the simple things, and your worries and anxieties start to fade away. You become more attuned to God's voice and more receptive to His guidance. You trust that He is preparing you for the very things you've been praying for, even if the path looks different than you expected. So, dear friend, embrace gratitude as a daily practice. Make it a habit to thank God for His goodness, His mercy, and His unwavering love. Keep a gratitude journal where you write down the blessings you experience each day, share your thankfulness with others, and watch as it becomes contagious. Remember, a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. As you express your gratitude to God, you open the door for Him to work in your life in ways you never thought possible. Trust that He is preparing you for the answers to your prayers and have faith that His timing is perfect. May your heart overflow with gratitude and may you experience the fullness of God's blessings as you walk in obedience to His will. Keep praying, keep believing, and keep giving thanks for the best is yet to come. Number nine, when you find yourself in a season of waiting, it can be easy to feel discouraged or forgotten by God. However, this time of preparation is a crucial part of His divine plan for your life. As you allow God to work in and through you during this period, you become a vessel for His glory, just like Esther in the Bible. Esther's story is a powerful reminder that God is always at work behind the scenes orchestrating events and circumstances to position his children for their God-given purpose. Before Esther became queen and saved her people from destruction, she underwent a time of intense preparation. She was taken into the king's palace and given beauty treatments, special food and training in royal etiquette for an entire year. During this time, Esther could have become impatient or questioned God's plan, but instead, she surrendered herself to the process trusting that God had a greater purpose for her life. Little did she know that God was preparing her for such a time as this, a time when she would be called upon to risk her life and advocate for her people before the king. In the same way, when you find yourself in a waiting season, God is preparing you for what you've been praying for. He is refining your character, strengthening your faith, and equipping you with the skills and wisdom you need to fulfill your God-given destiny. As you yield yourself to His process, you become a vessel for His glory, ready to be used by Him in mighty ways. Just like Esther, you may not understand everything that is happening during this time of preparation, but you can trust that God is working all things together for your good and His glory. He is shaping you into the person He created you to be, so that when the time comes, you will be ready to step into your God-given purpose with boldness and confidence. As you wait upon the Lord and allow Him to work in your life, you become a living testimony of His faithfulness and grace. Your life begins to reflect His goodness, and others will be drawn to the hope and peace that radiates from you. You become a beacon of light in a dark world, pointing others to the one who sustains you and gives you strength. So. If you find yourself in a season of waiting, take heart. God is preparing you for what you've been praying for. 
Embrace this time of preparation as a gift from Him, knowing that He is molding you into a vessel for His glory. Trust in His perfect timing and plan, and know that He will bring to completion the good work He has begun in you. As you surrender yourself to God's process, you will emerge from this waiting season stronger, wiser, and more equipped to fulfill your God-given purpose. Like Esther, you will be positioned for such a time as this, ready to be used by God to bring Him glory and advance His kingdom on earth. So hold fast to His promises and know that the best is yet to come. Number 10. When you've been praying fervently for something dear to your heart and God finally answers your prayer, the joy that fills your soul is truly indescribable. It's a moment of pure elation where you realize that the Almighty has heard your pleas and has chosen to bless you abundantly. Consider the story of Hannah in the Bible. She was a devout woman who longed for a child, but remained barren for years. In her desperation, she poured out her heart to God, weeping and praying earnestly for a son. And when God granted her request, her joy knew no bounds. In 1 Samuel 2, 1-10, we see Hannah's beautiful prayer of praise and thanksgiving. She exclaims, My heart rejoices in the Lord. In the Lord, my horn is lifted high. Her words overflow with gratitude and adoration for the God who had been so faithful and good to her. When you experience the joy of answered prayer, you'll find yourself echoing Hannah's sentiments. Your heart will swell with an inexplicable happiness, and you'll feel an overwhelming urge to praise and glorify God for His incredible kindness and generosity. You'll marvel at how God has taken your deepest desires and turned them into a beautiful reality. You'll stand in awe of His power and His love, knowing that He has moved mountains on your behalf. And you'll feel a renewed sense of faith and trust in the Lord, knowing that He is always working for your good, even when you can't see it. The joy of answered prayer is a testament to the incredible relationship we have with our Heavenly Father. It's a reminder that He is always listening, always caring, and always ready to shower us with His blessings. And it's a motivation to keep praying, keep believing, and keep trusting in the God who loves us more than we can ever imagine. So if you've been praying for something and haven't yet seen the answer, take heart. Keep pressing on in faith, knowing that God is preparing you for the incredible joy that comes with answered prayer. And when that moment finally arrives, let your heart overflow with gratitude and praise, just like Hannah did. For there is no greater joy than knowing that the God of the universe has heard your cry and has chosen to bless you beyond measure. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart full of hope and anticipation, knowing that you are a God who hears and answers prayers. Your word says that you know the plans you have for me, plans to prosper me and not to harm me, plans to give me a hope and a future. I trust in your perfect timing and your infinite wisdom. Lord, I have been praying fervently for specific prayer requests. I believe that this desire in my heart is from you. Though I don't yet see the fulfillment of this prayer, I have faith that you are working behind the scenes on my behalf. You are orchestrating events, opening doors, and aligning circumstances to bring your will to pass in my life. I know that you are using this season of waiting to prepare me. You are growing my character, strengthening my faith, and teaching me to rely on you. Through the challenges and trials, you are molding me into the person I need to be to receive and stewarded well the blessings you have in store. Help me to embrace this refining process, knowing that it is necessary and ultimately for my good. Give me patience in the waiting, trust in the unseen, and peace in the uncertainty. Protect me from discouragement when the waiting feels long. Remind me of your faithfulness in the past and your promises for the future. Help me to fix my eyes on you and not on my circumstances. I believe that you are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you. I believe that you will fulfill your promises and grant the desires you've placed in my heart in your perfect way and timing. I choose to praise you in advance for the victories to come. Thank you that you are a good father who gives good gifts to your children. Thank you that your delays are not denials, but rather strategic preparation. Thank you that you are working all things together for my good, because I love you and am called according to your purpose. 
I surrender my timeline and my expectations to you, Lord. Have your way in my waiting. I choose to rejoice in this season, knowing that you are preparing me for what I've been praying for. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Dear friends, as we come to the end of this video, I want to leave you with a powerful truth. God is preparing you for what you've been praying for. Your prayers have not gone unheard, and your faith has not been in vain. Every struggle, every challenge, and every moment of waiting has been a part of God's divine plan to shape you, mold you, and equip you for the incredible future He has in store. In Jeremiah 29 11, God declares, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This promise is a testament to His unwavering love and faithfulness towards you. As you continue to trust in God's timing and surrender your desires to Him, He is working behind the scenes, aligning every circumstance, and orchestrating every detail to bring about His perfect will for your life. He is refining your character, strengthening your faith, and preparing you to step into the destiny He has ordained for you. So take heart and hold fast to the promises of God. Keep praying, keep believing, and keep trusting in His goodness. For in due season, you will reap the harvest of your prayers and witness the manifestation of God's incredible plans for your life. As you move forward, may you find comfort in the words of Philippians 1 6, which says, Being confident of this, that He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. God is not finished with you yet, and the best is still to come. May the peace of God guard your heart and mind and may His love continue to guide you as you walk in obedience to His will. Remember, you are a chosen vessel, destined for greatness, and God is preparing you for the amazing things He has in store. God bless you, and may you always find strength, hope, and joy in the knowledge that God is working all things together for your good, and He will fulfill every promise He has spoken over your life.